Today we're going to replace our turn signal on our PT Cruiser. It's an 06. This is good through 06 through 10. And uh, the problem with PT Cruisers is when you put your turn signal on, sometimes they just don't go back off. And it's a common problem, happens all the time. It's a 10 minute fix. I went out to the used car parts store, aka your local junkyard, and I even had to remove this one myself because they wanted to give me the whole column. You just need this. If you go to the junkyard, you will save probably around $50 on this part, okay? Let's get started. So there's two screws underneath here. Uh, one is right here by the lever. One is right here, and the other one's on this side. Uh, over here, right here, where my finger is. They're just two regular Phillips head screws. I've already removed this one, so we're going to go over here and remove this one, which I've kind of loosened up already anyway. It's a regular Phillips head screwdriver. If you have bits, it's a number one, and mine's magnetic, so it'll it'll hang on to it once we get it, get it out. Now that we have the two screws unloosened, this pops right off. It comes right up. I'm just going to remove that and put it right up there. Underneath the steering wheel, we also have a third screw, which is a T20. And I think we're going to have to take this out so we can lower this a little bit more and get to our mechanism. Okay, so you don't really need to take this off. Just pull this down and uh, you can see there's another screw right here. And... Uh, it's kind of ours is kind of loose right now. So press down on this, and you can take this screw out right here. Okay, that's all you need to do is press down. You don't have to take the bottom off or unscrew anything else, and that screw will come right out. Lower it a little enough for us to slide it right out. That's all it is. Okay, and then this just pulls right out. And the top one, it's got a little pin right here. Push the pin down and pull it out. Now your mechanism's clear. I'm gonna take our new one and slide that one back in. And underneath, I'm gonna uh, put it right in here. Okay. And that's how it slides right in. So let's change our bit. Put that T20 back and get our number one bit for screw. Ours are magnetized, it really helps. Goes in this little hole right here. It's not a very big screw. Get our T20 back out and we'll put our bottom screw. So before we screw everything back together, let's make sure our replacement part from the junkyard works. Okay, so it's working. High beams. Okay. We'll have to take it on a field test to make sure that when we turn our wheel, the uh, turn signals go back the way they should. We'll just put this back in. It's, it pretty much just snaps in. Like that. And we'll screw it. Screw it down. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you. If you like this video, please click like and also subscribe to our other videos on how to fix PT cruisers and other vehicles.